blessed April to one and all. It's April? It is April. Oh and Father Carey, this is a very special episode uh, it's not of my Pastors birthday. of Pain. It's not my birthday. Now, your birthday's in January. Uh-huh. It's not my nobody priesthood cares, anniversary. Nobody cares about that. Your priesthood oh, anniversary you know is, is? In, is in June. April 18th is my baptismal day. When I was, oh. I was a sweet little nine pound, six ounce few, little baby pagan. And then that's boom. Still, that's still a few weeks away. Saint. No. Um, Wait, whoa, whoa. There's something more important than so those. So, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's Lent. We're a couple weeks away from Easter. Whoa. All of that is. What is, is more important than my baptism? All day? of that is good. And it's, I want to hear about your uh, mission trip oh. to Costa Rica. But but before <laughs> we get to any of that. Okay, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay, well, let me. This is a very special episode. Uh, oh, it's a special episode. Father Carey, what if I told you? If you told me the moon was that was a was cheese made of green cheese, <laughs> hey, come out, everybody! Oh, uh, sorry, um, <laughs> that was pretty good. Thank you. I felt like I was with Harry Carey. This is uh, Father Carey. This is episode number two hundred. Hold on, can you can hear, you believe it? Can you hear my eyes blinking? All right, I want to hear. We want to hear from uh, who who is out there who's listened to all. 200 this guy episodes me, me I've listened you don't to listen to any of it I, I do I'm, okay I'm, I'm listening I have I have listened to all 200 episodes oh, I've listened so to know. all 200 because we do these right here yeah all 200 yeah I have been I have not been present for all 200 nor have you uh-huh. so no one including Don our producer no one what, has what, been present what? because when we first started we had um what uh, uh, Jay. Well, no, we Jay, had a girl. Jay, and then oh, um, what was her name? Was no, her name uh, Kelsey? Megan? Margaret? B- Gertrude? Uh, did Gertrude? We're making up names. Esther? Up. No, no. She um, was. It was like Esther or something. She was. <laughs> she was an intern DJ. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. So there's been no one, no, not one person on this planet has been present for all 200 episodes. Well, I mean, really lucky for them because. Some of them, have been but uh, we want to hear from you. Are, have you? Is there anyone out there who's listened to all two hundred? Is there anyone out there who has spent one hundred hours of their life? Like, is there anyone out there who has spent four full days of their life? Well, listening Mar- to Mary us, Mary Frost. I think the Frost out in California. Oh yeah, like Dad Frost, Mom wow. Frost, and Mary Frost. They, they, they. I'm sure there's people out there. Anyway, uh, we we just wow. want to say thanks. I mean, to, uh, who would have thought? Who would have thought, man? Um, I, Isn't that I crazy. Didn't. When you came up, when you came up with this idea of having a podcast radio show, I said, "Pass." I was inspired. I have, there are several inspirations. One is the uh, the Catholic Man Show out of Tulsa. Adam Minahan, Dave Niles. Oh yeah, they got they they've been going m- many years longer than us. And then my other my local inspiration was that um, my was, local inspiration was. Pastor Jim Johnson at Sunnybrook Church. I thought you were going to say Crime Junkies. No, no, <laughs> wow, I don't. I've never. Oh, listened really? To that. Yeah. When when I first moved here, we moved into the new church, and uh, our friends at Sunnybrook what? have a podcast. I don't know if it's still going or what, but and and Pastor Jim Johnson, who's pastor of Sunnybrook, yeah, yeah. he uh, he had me on his on his podcast, so I went over to Sunnybrook, was on his podcast. And we talked about like church architecture because they were about to like do, they were about to do something in their, at their church. And they were kind of wanted, I don't know if he wanted to kind of rile up his people like, all right, Hey, look, look, look what the Catholics did. We gotta, we gotta do something. Uh, or, you know, it was more sort of informational. Uh, and I, so I walked into like their, you know, kind of quote unquote studio. Oh, I do remember that. And it was cool. I mean, and they do a great job, but like, I was like. This is it? This is how you make a podcast? <laughs> I could totally do that. Right. Anyway, then we got we had the hookup with um, Stillwater Radio with Pete 94.3. And that is how this whole thing got going. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, and now we're gonna evangelize Mars. So it you know, so, eventually eventually we're gonna end so up. So send on us Mars. some money. Yeah, because I Yeah, especially you people, you freeloaders. Who don't live in? <laughs> if you don't live, if you don't live in Payne County, and you're listening to this show, send us a hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. 
podcasts do don't think? grow on trees. What do you, what do you think? We, the money just falls out of the sky? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, well, I, yeah, I mean, because the people of Payne County, uh, you know, support our various ministries and uh, and the parish, the parishes. We like we pay we pay for this. Yes, to get to get on the radio and then to make it into a podcast. I'm gonna have to start selling plasma if we don't get. Yeah, any seriously, um, I'm gonna start <laughs> donating my to, donating hair to. By uh, the way, you do need a haircut. I it's just start, got one, oh, didn't I? No, I, I think it's starting to throw out on the sides. Remember oh, that man. little picture of you that looks like you have a chia pet on your head? Chia, 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 chia. Yeah, that's what it's starting All to look right. like. All right. Dang, it's a good thing we're on the radio. Uh, it, so 200 episodes later. Wow. I should go back and listen to the first episode. You don't want to. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I, I missed that. Go back, everyone. Go back and listen to the very first. It's like, uh, Going back to listening to your first podcast is like going back and looking at your first tweet. What was my first tweet? Or your face? How do I do that? Or your first Facebook post? You just have to go back in the thread till you get all the way back to the beginning. That's going to be a lot. I know I've you tweeted a lot. I've been on Twitter. Actually, I just had my Twitter anniversary. Eleven years. Whoa, that's a lot of tweets. That is a lot of tweets. So, uh, okay, in just a minute, I want to get to Father Kerry and I want to. We're going to kind of reminisce. This is going to be a little, a little walk down Pastures of Pain memory lane. Mm-hmm. Um, but first of all, we're two weeks away from Easter. Yeah, we That's are. It's exciting. Uh-huh. Hope everyone is holding to their Lenten promises. Um, but Father Kerry, you, uh, not this week, but last week, you got back from Costa Rica. Are you are you looking at my still tell us, tan skin? <laughs> tell, us, uh, tell us about Costa Rica. Well, um, it, was a, it was our uh, annual mission trip. Yeah, where else so, have you been before this? I've been to Costa Rica, Honduras, the Yucatan Peninsula, but not a resort. Oh, uh, good a distinction. St. Lucia, not a resort. Uh, uh, where else? Where else? Peru? That's like Damien and Molokai going to Hawaii. Yeah. And people are like, ooh, you get to be a missionary a in leper Hawaii? Uh, no, I'm going to a leper colony. Thank you very much. Yeah, I've been all over South and Central America yeah? on these mission trips. So what did you group. do? So this was this was a, a we went to a parish in Paquera, which is right on the bay that goes towards the Pacific Ocean. Uh, Paquera, a uh, small town, a couple thousand people, and just to do work at the parish to help uh, to help reevangelize people to go out and do home visits oh. and to walk through the streets and hand out rosaries and hand out sacramentals and just and just re start reevangelizing people. Did uh, you got to speak a lot of Spanish? Yeah, because the par- the pastor there has twelve parishes, and one of them was on the island that he has to take a boat to his own personal boat. Uh, and so Holy you think you Nikes? Yeah, we were in Honduras one time, and it was one priest for every twenty five thousand people. And here it's one priest for every like basically like ten or twelve parishes. So he has a Sunday mass on Wednesday at one parish. Whoa! He does the Sunday masses there. On Wednesday, he just can't. Yeah, he can't go he, to twelve he, places at yeah. once. So, we, on so I, I did a little uh, thing with the high school students on uh, serving, uh, serving the church and uh, vocation. Oh, so I talked about like the three things that are needed as communion with God, uh, communion with each other, and communion Eucharistia of the three things necessary. You give a talk in Spanish? In Spanish. Good and for I you. Mass every day in Spanish. And Good for you, Spanish. man. Good for you. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, uh, so anyway, there was all sorts of all sorts of good stuff. What happened to your phone? It just started. Ringing I was looking your... to see how much time we have left, and then it was making. And then making, you started playing a podcast. It's making noise. I'm sorry. Dave Ramsey started I'm coming sorry. on your phone. I've never listened to Dave <laughs> Ramsey. <laughs> Anywho, uh, so it was really great. I think there's students. Uh, the students go down there to yes to to serve these these the town. The parish, so yep. we did work around the parish. Yep. Um, we did work with the high school students that were Catholic, and then we also went to a local high school and did manual labor. So the kind of the three, those three ways of evangelization. We we actually cleaned their basketball court, soccer oh. slab. It's kind of like Holy Family Cathedral has a basketball court that's also a little soccer field, and it's and it's also volleyball. So they came up with this really wild idea of how to paint it. And so we had to sand it down, wash it, and then oh. paint it. So it took about two and a half days okay, wow. to do all the painting. Uh, and then all of us got torched 
because of the sunburns. I mean, just the, that's not good for it your was skin. Just, oh yeah, I had to keep the kids hydrated, and students were. Uh, and then we built a sidewalk in front of a parish in a little bitty town of uh, Via Via Union. No, that's in Mexico. It was Via Via Sur. Okay. Uh, we built a sidewalk in front of Santisima Trinidad Catholic Church. There. Ooh, that means Holy Trinity oh, yeah. for all you non-Spanish speakers out there. Yeah. So we we did, did stuff like that, and it was Holy it was, Trinity in South Village. And and yeah, in South Village, it sounds like. Uh, something in New York City or something, South oh. Village, Holy Trinity. So then that, uh, but then you know, one thing I really love about mission trips is the, um, yeah. the 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 kind of the penance that goes with them too. Like if your Lenten, if your Lenten penances are not going very well, and you're like, go on a mission trip, because not only uh, I think you actually meant to say go to an airport. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. Isn't that where most of your penance was? Yeah. I mean, I got some really good naps underneath a palm tree for like an hour oh. uh, while working with students. We'd take breaks, and I fell asleep, and it was just relaxing. But then when we were coming back, we flew in, and apparently the airline thought we weren't going to make it through customs. Oh, boy. So they gave away twenty uh, our, our 20 seats what? on the airplane. What? So wow. then when I went to the airport counter and I told them, like, we're here, they were like, oh, well, you have to go over to this service station for this airport uh, for the, the to get new tickets. The guy just looked at me and said, um, well, um, Father, I'm really sorry to tell you, but there's not a seat on an airplane for four days uh, coming out of Florida anywhere. Oh. And the next hotel room that we could find available is an hour and a half away. Oh. So... So we slept in the airport. And, you know, I love it when people tell me, they're like, oh, my gosh, you know what? College students, they really, like, they'll do almost anything. They'll sleep on the floor. They'll take overnight buses. And I say to them, and I have to do that with them. Like, if yeah, they're sleeping on I'm, a, I'm an old man. If they're sleeping on a floor in an airport, I'm sleeping on the floor with them. They are half my age. <laughs> if I am taking a midnight bus through, if they're taking a midnight bus through a country, you know, and they're packed in a really tiny van. So am I. It's lots of fun. It's entertaining. When, like, I think a lot of times we get sedentary and kind of boring in our lives, and a good old fashioned mission trip will fix that. It'll, up. yeah, it'll get you. It'll get you moving. Well, I'm glad you're back up. safely. Hey, thanks a lot. It was a great time. The Beautiful. rectory was uh, eerily quiet. Oh, that's all about to change. We had people over every night. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we invited all your friends over. That's why they won't Several hang out with you now. Several uh, people were in your room going through your stuff. Oh, good. Hope they did my laundry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but anyway, I'm glad you're yeah. hey, Thanks a lot. Glad you're back. It's, it was a good time. And watching this church, I mean, the bell tower. Oh, yeah. Like, If you have not driven by St. John Catholic Student Center lately, you should. The bell tower when I left was 40 feet tall. And now, and now, 400. I wish it was 400. Right now, it's right about 80. Oh. So it's doubled in size. That's big. Uh huh. And it still has to go up uh, another an- 400 feet. I wish. And oh. it still has to go up another 30 feet. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. And that then there's an 11 story bell tower. And then there's a nine foot tall cross on top of it. That is a 12 story bell tower. You betcha, dude. Hey, it's going to be sweet. Well. Okay, that's awesome. Okay. Okay, let's go back to, uh, this is our 200th, 200th episode. Uh, 200th? Father Kerry, uh, why why did you agree to, j- to join in this adventure of, of uh, radio and sound evangelization? Well, you, you come up with What's some- What's it, guilt? You, you come up with some, like, arm-twisting things. What? I mean, on one occasion, we got, a, we got a, you and I got in a fierce argument one time, a debate. We um, almost ended it. We almost ended it because... That was in, I don't know, that was like, we were somewhere probably in episode 30. And I couldn't keep a schedule because I wouldn't respond to emails in time, and you got ticked. And I was like, okay. We came to blows. <laughs> yeah, we came to, like, <laughs> uh, arguing both over email and in the rectory. I wrestled him to the ground and tried to gouge his eyes out. And you missed, and you poked me in the ear, and now I'm deaf in my left ear. Thank you. And here we are. Just kidding. I, I, I forgot sh- about that. Yeah. So we almost ended this. We were like... There was a conversation of, should do we... Like, if we can't... I mean, the show is like me and you. If we can't get in the same place... Well, that, we, like, fixed that quickly. Yeah, we just, like... Okay. Yeah, we just decided we uh-huh. were going to... We were going to 
do this a certain way and not do this another way. But the reason why I thought I thought you you gave a very strong argument. I, I think not an argument, really clear points on why this is good evangelization, not only for our parishioners here in Stillwater to talk about things in our faith that go beyond the Sunday homily. Like not everybody is going to come to a faith formation class. Not everybody's going to come to your catechism class yep. on Saturdays during the summer. I'm not going to like be able to talk to every college student about fill in the blank during the weekdays. So we have to have another way of reaching those people. And also, I think a second point is, how do we evangelize and share the good news of the life, uh, the life, the Christian life with people here in Payne County who have no religious understanding of anything? Yeah, that's where the radio comes in. Uh, like that guy who showed up one time and said, I listen to the radio yep. and I live on this gravel yep. road south of town. And I love that. Like for our, we have you know, a lo- number of homebound uh, parishioners, yeah. people who just can't, who can't come to mass for usually for health reasons. Um, yeah. And they, 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 they listen and they're entertained and they learn. Yeah. And hopefully their faith grows. Okay. Um, so there's two reasons why. Uh, I would like to talk about our, our best episode or maybe your favorite. Oh, I don't know if you have a favorite episode. Then maybe we could talk about um, some some of the controversial episodes that we've had. Oh, that have stirred stirred the pot. Spicy. Why don't we just talk about that first? Because that's really what everybody wants to talk about: controversial things. Um, I think by far, and you may you may you may disagree. We did a show in. Uh, I looked it up. It was back in September of 2019, and it was called. Annoying things our parishioners do. Oh, do you remember this? Do you remember I, that show? I do. I do. <laughs> and it wasn't like, I mean, we weren't mean about it. I mean, the title is sort of provocative, I guess. But it was basically um, like, the, I mean, the one I remember is like, when you, for priests, I, it was we were trying to kind of give some insight into like our life as priests. Uh-huh. And like on Sundays... Like it's not, especially if you're, if you're around a lot during the week or you have kind of access, this sounds so like uppity and I don't mean it this way, but like if you have access to us during the week, like Mm -hmm. leave us alone for like the 10 minutes after mass, because there's so many people and there's so many new people and there's visitors and there's like, we have this very limited time to reach that group of people and like, a sort of a regular, a daily mass goer, like comes right up and starts a conversation, <laughs> which which could which could easily happen during the week and really at any other time except for these ten minutes. Yeah, because that's the time you know we we might we might be looking for someone. Anyway, it was those those kinds of of things. Uh huh. Um, but anyway, it that um, that episode, yeah, definitely got some people a little. A little brought up. Now, I will say, in our defense, um, a few months later, we did a show <laughs> called Annoying <laughs> Things Your Priests Do. Yeah. Uh, like... A litany of faults. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, so you can go back. What was your... What do you, what do you think was our most... Uh, our most controversial. I, I had three. And oh, I, my. I, I think they were kind of like the big Such topic. Such controversy. Go ahead. Uh, uh, one was the capital punishment. We talked about it. Oh, yeah. I don't think it was a... I don't remember if it was an exact like like podcast but it was definitely in the fifth commandment we were talking we've about. done one on the fifth commandment yeah and but then and we have done one on the death penalty on the death penalty yeah. and we, we talk, uh, especially around those executions of those guys and why we have to be catholic every day of our lives like yep. being catholic and bearing rich fruit as jesus says like we're, we're sent to bear rich fruit doesn't stop at the doors of the church. It goes out into our political decisions, our financial decisions, how we how we raise and teach our kids, and oh. how we interact with even our enemies. Yep. Um, I think uh, a controversial one was was on abortion. Uh, oh. The, the third uh, third one I think was controversial was on the beauty of marriage of man and woman. And uh-huh. I think the, I think these three topics is that the one about living together before you're married. No, I think it was on like same sex marriage. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, just those three: capital punishment, abortion, and the beauty of marriage of man and yeah, woman. Yeah, those are yeah uh, culturally culturally sensitive topics. Yeah, I, I just I just think like when you build a bridge, you know, like we're building this new church. When you build it, you have to build it according to these measurements and strengths and weights and torques and stuff like that. And if you get it wrong, 
the building will fall down. Oh. Or if you build a bridge wrong it's dangerous. and you put too much flex in the steel beams or you don't put enough, either the bridge will flex too much and will launch the vehicles oh. or the bridge will not flex enough and then will break like the one across the Mississippi River oh, yeah. uh, that broke. And then they basically had to shut down that bridge going across. Yeah. What town was that? It I was, remember that. Um, yeah, yeah, it was in uh, in Tennessee. They it was not yeah, Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee. Yep. They had to shut down that bridge and you had to divert people around it. Yep. I believe like wholeheartedly that if you do these three things wrong, like if you don't live out the beauty of human life, the beauty of marriage, the beauty of uh, of what is true marriage, like heavenly marriage. Yeah, I got life giving. If you don't live out you. loving your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. Then you, there, if you don't live those out, then there's going to be a design flaw, yes. and something's yes. going to break in your life. We also did one uh, called uh, "A Funeral Is Not a Celebration of Life." Oh. That was a good one. Hot air balloons or balloons was, and uh, celebration of life. It's that like, was that was mildly controversial. Okay, what's our worst? What's like our worst episode ever? What, what do you mean by worst? I don't know. I, whatever. I, 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 I can know. think about some times that you were. You, I mean, you really messed it up. What? But I'm just kidding. It was a joke. I was just saying. I mean, it's entirely possible, of course. <laughs> it's entirely possible. Uh, there, One cool thing I will say, we've done 200 episodes. We've never started over. Like, we we come in here, we sit down, we push record, and we go. Oh, yeah. Like, there's never been a time when we were like 10 minutes in and we're like, okay, cut. This this is terrible. Start over. I think some of our maybe like our less than the best. I like the list of them. Maybe in some few categories. One is when we used to sit on the couch in the rectory and prepare for these things. Okay, I'll talk about this and you talk about this. And like our first three or four episodes, be a little staged. We would we would like you point at me and I point at you and we would. Okay, point one, Father Kerry. No, yeah, uh, I, I I think I think a um, I, it probably wasn't well thought out it wasn't the most stellar of episodes but although it was entertaining both in studio and for the good people of god which was, one well, well we had a seminarian in here his name is r williams i just oh aliases, yeah aliases. Robert, robert w these are a these are aliases yeah. robert w we had a young lady named gs <laughs> and um and, and you had like 48 AC. people in here this AC. room is not very big. GS and AC names. Yeah, I was gone doing something, and you because we have guests. Those are those uh -huh. have been good episodes. Uh -huh. We've had, we've had priests, we've had seminarians, we've had uh, focus missionaries. Uh, Deacon Tom Cabine has been a good guest. Matt Cabine was a good guest. Right. You've had uh, Clayton Caldwell, Clay, yeah, Olivia, Matt Bond. Matt, Bond uh, was, Matt was on former yeah. missionaries. But that episode, I think that if people so go back funny. and listen to it. It was was it this past summer. Yeah, it was this yeah. past summer. And it got a little rambunctious because there were four personalities in here and each of the personalities. And two microphones. And two microphones. And so you're both up close and personal. I think uh, I was thinking about maybe like best best episodes. Um, I like we did a uh, early on like a kind of a series. We did three or four episodes on the Eucharist. Oh, remember yeah. that? Yeah, those were really excellent. And it was kind of, I, I mean, I don't remember exactly how... What the progression was, or I mean, the Eucharist we could just talk about for days on days. Oh, I know. But maybe we do that again. Maybe we do like a little series because we did. We've you know we've done. We were going to work through the Ten Commandments, and we got through the fifth, and then we haven't. I don't think we've touched that in like in like a year. Well, we also did one on the Bible and how to read the scriptures, uh -huh. and I think we did a multiple ones on that too. Yeah, maybe because, if you have uh, any ideas for like a, maybe we could do yeah do one or two or three like in a row on a particular subject, and I mean that'd be an hour and a half on a yeah, yeah. on a particular because we did we did like the um, how the the four senses of the scriptures. Oh yeah, and we did those, but then we also talked about on another time the differences between like. Genesis, the beginnings of Genesis and how that's different from, say, Genesis chapter 40 uh, or Which how that's more historical. Yeah. And yeah. how the first one, like the different narrative styles of the scriptures of how that works. We did one I thought I thought was really excellent on the the four Gospels. Didn't we do did we do that? Uh, am I, am I, I think. No, I think we did. Am I imagining? Like the differences between them? Or? Yeah, we talked about the Gospels. 
and uh, sort of the the differences in there. Those were. We've done some on different saints, but also Stanley Rother. You know what? I also learn a lot when we're doing these things. No, I learn a lot. Okay, you, you probably learn more than I do. Are you saying I'm dumb? Uh, no, I'm just saying I'm super smart and you're oh. learning stuff. No, well, well, I think we both bring, uh, yes, like I tend, I think there on episodes that are like more scripture oriented. I think you got, I mean, you just did. You got a better scripture education than I did. I love the Bible. Um, and I love the Bible too. I'm just saying you got a better education. And I think like in terms of reading, like what we read outside of when we're not oh, yeah. sitting in here. Um, I read a lot of, um, a lot of, a lot of political stuff, kind of moral, more moral theology. And you're more into kind of biblical theology. So anyway, we each bring our, our particular strengths. Yeah. Um, but we've done like really practical episodes on, you know, like how to plan your funeral. (laughs) Uh, Was was that a good one? Sorry. Cause it was based on. On a book that your dad has, though it's called what? My dad has a book <laughs> that's called the I'm Dead book. Yes. That he, it's on his shelf. Yeah. And I was just home and I I got to see the I'm Dead book. I'm it's, just like, I'm just looking at Don's face over here and it's, it's like, just change. Because I don't know if he it, was here for that for that talk on. It, uh, so, it's just a book with, with all the details of yeah. his funeral and... Because you, we, we, Wills and well, you know what? We prepared stuff early on, like, okay, we're going to talk about this on this, this. And as thing, as the year, the last year, and who half, has time for preparation? I mean, we just do our independent preparation. So when you told me that your dad had his funeral, <laughs> yeah, eulogy all planned out. Oh, yeah. And his little thing that's going in the newspaper. I love it. I just lost it. I'm, I, I'm not, I know I gave a talk at my parish about like how to, how to plan. A funeral, and then I'm giving a talk coming up at Christ the King in Tulsa. Same same topic, how to plan your Catholic funeral, and that's that's what I start with. My dad has a book, it's a notebook at his desk, and it's called "I'm Dead." Step one, but it's helpful. I mean, it, one it kind of breaks the ice a little bit because you know people people talking about death. I mean, we don't, I don't know, people get uh-huh. people get a little antsy. Wow, talking about it. Um, Anyway, yeah, those have been some good. Those have been some good episodes. What's been your? Fa- give me a favorite one of you. I like the. I mean, the, I like the practical ones of like kind of helping people. You know, we've done like like one did one on. Uh, it was like, well, a lot like during COVID. You know, like how to. You know, what is spiritual communion? Oh yeah. How to you know just how to deal with you know the world when the world seems to be falling apart. So I like to think. I like to think that we've been. You know, I've tried to be very encouraging, to to be joyful. Um, my yeah. guess is, like, you, if you've listened to some or all of the episodes, <laughs> like, you've gotten, you get to know us a little bit. Uh, you know, that we... Love pho. That we like being priests. Uh, we love pho. That, yeah, yes, that we like v- Vietnamese food is the best. Uh, yeah, so just, I think it's been a little window into our life as pastors you know you kind of get you get a little behind the curtain kind of look Sneak peek. at what it's like you know we've talked about different challenges that we've had with with people with you know building projects with um, fundraising with ash wednesday pipes busting yes the, the <laughs> flood the great flood of 2020 uh no 2021 that was Oof, 2021 yeah. Uh, yeah covid was 2020 covid was 2021 and then the pipe bursting. The was, great Ash Wednesday pipe oh, burst. That was so, ugh, that was brutal. Gross. You, the, you know, that so, was the hey. wor- That was, I think. I mean, that was, I think, my worst day. It was, in the four years I've been in Stillwater. Hey, remember when we were our priest group that one time and all those cans fell off that refrigerator, yes. busting and spinning. Yes. When you looked at those cans spinning around on the ground, I looked at your face. It was. It was kind of like this. I'm going to show it. It was just like this. <laughs> It was the same face you gave on Ash Wednesday oh. night when you looked at all that water as Father Robert oh, and I were busting the open worst. the ceiling. Just the worst. And Cheryl, we, you just looked at it and you were like, I don't know what to do. All right, we got to go. Uh, what, that's it? Happy 200th episode. Oh. Father Carey, we're the pastors of pain. 
Um, pray for us. You know, we want to keep this thing going. And uh, we look forward to 200 more. Whoa. Peace. <laughs>